Everyone is invited to enter the kingdom of God. Will I come prepared? This is a reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Do you know the story of Saint Expeditus? Saint Expeditus is the patron saint of those suffering from procrastination, as well as those who find themselves fighting against the time and tide that wait for no man. He is also the patron saint of emergency medical workers. He also protects merchants, programmers, navigators, sailors, students, and test takers. Saint Expeditus is an Armenian Christian martyr he is one of the six soldiers of Legio Fulminata murdered at Melitin during the Diocletian persecution. As tradition would have it, upon being enlightened by the Holy Spirit, this centurion decided to convert to the church. As he was on his way to the church, the devil, the prince of procrastinators, took the form of a flock of crows intent on delaying the soldiers' plans. They cried aloud in Latin, Cras, Cras, tomorrow, tomorrow, mimicking the cross natural call. But Expeditus, not having a great deal of patience, that they stamped upon the mocking cross, ending their miserable lives, shouting in Latin, Christianus ero hodie, I will be a Christian today. Saint Expeditus is venerated throughout the Europe and Latin America. His devotees are particularly numerous in Brazil. Veneration among Chileans revolves around a delightful story. A devotee of Saint Expeditus showed up in the beach city of Viña del Mar and petitioned some priests to help her build a chapel to Saint Expeditus. At first, she was shown the door, but Upon praying to the patron saint of deadlines, the funds for the church arrived nine days later. Saint Expeditus was martyred for converting to Christianity. Considered the patron saint of urgent causes, he is commemorated by the Catholic Church on April 19. The Gospel today prompts us to reflect on God's invitation and our response. Jesus invites all of us to come and enter the kingdom of God, but we must come prepared. The Gospel tells the story of a king who prepared a wedding feast for his son. However, those who were originally invited did not come, so the king invited anyone he could find. One man came without the proper wedding attire and was thrown out. The rejection of the original guest signifies the choices we often make to turn away from God's grace. It is a call to self-examination, asking ourselves whether we are accepting or rejecting God's invitation in our lives. The man without the proper attire teaches us about the importance of preparation and sincerity in our response to God's invitation. May we emulate the ways of Saint Expeditus who converted to Christianity with urgency and who shouted with conviction Christianus ero hodie. I will be a Christian today. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for loving us unconditionally, for suffering, dying on the cross, for your resurrection and ascension, and for inviting us to come and enter your heavenly kingdom. Please forgive us when we reject your invitation in our lives. We humbly ask your grace to empower us to accept your invitation in our lives and do your will with urgency and zeal. Breathe in me, O Holy Spirit, that my thoughts may all be holy. Act in me, O Holy Spirit, that my work too may be holy. Draw my heart, O Holy Spirit, that I love but what is holy. Strengthen me, O Holy Spirit, to defend all that is holy. 
Guard me then, O Holy Spirit, that I always may be holy. Amen. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.